Japan is amazing, man. We're having such a great time. <laughs> we wake up every morning at like 5 a.m. and then hit the road. Sometimes 4 a.m. and just drive all day. There's just so much to see. I want to show people why we're in Japan, you know? And I think in doing that, you have to be honest. You can't force no, experiences. Um, relaxation is a big Put that on eBay. <laughs> they would suggest that we first go to the pilgrimage road. Okay. Will there be a lot of people there? ここまでこんなマスカ。ここまでこんなところまでです。ここまで人はいないと思います。多分ノットクラウド。オッケー。ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、ここ、
Now we stationed the cars right in front of uh, the Pagoda, trying to capture the waterfall in the distance as well as the building itself. I love kayaking. That's great. Who's gonna be in the boat with you? You are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good. Okay. That was cool. We made it. What? Do you guys want to know where we are? Well, you have to wait and see. This is absolutely beautiful. So today we are at Kuriyama Kobo, which is a manufacturer of kimonos. And I'm here with Miss Nishida. And she's going to show us some very uh, up close and detailed um, visuals that they've been working on. My first question for you is, what is the meaning of kimono in the Japanese fashion history? Of course, Japanese people wear all different types of clothing today. But Japanese people believe that when they wear a kimono, they look very beautiful. It makes us proud of being Japanese. And we also feel that it is something that should never be lost. Now, what you're wearing right now, this is something that you designed here, or what? Can you tell me a little bit about it? This I created and dyed by myself. Wow. Come on, guys, let's go get me in a nice kimono. Nice. Oh, it's gonna be really good. Now that um, I finished wearing the kimono, that was an incredible experience. Our stomachs now need to be filled. See you on the other side. What you're reading? I am reading about geishas uh, and the history of them in Japan. Um, we're going to meet several of them today and I'm really excited um, and I want to make sure that I'm prepared. So I'm joined by Tomitsu-san and I really... Pleasure to meet you. I really want to thank you for having us here. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, the experience has been extremely interesting to me as a perspective. Um, and it's been, it, it kind of brought me back to what I'd imagine the tradition, the Japanese culture uh, to have been like hundreds of years ago. And I really appreciate that. So thank you so much for that. Um, so you would say, um, because we're in Kyoto, mm -hmm. you would you would be considered a geiko. Geiko san. Geiko san. Yes. Now, can you describe to me what was it that inspired you to get mm -hmm. into this? Well, I was born in Kyoto, 
and some of my family members were working for kimono in the streets making kimono yeah and since when i was a little girl i really wanted to wear kimono i just loved it and i was also interested in japanese tradition so i decided to become maiko-san which is the before becoming geiko-san the younger version of geiko-san 